Zeke, there were some people that talking about that third and one where you, you know, you're saying you didn't think you could have stayed vertical. Some people are saying that's a play last year you take to the house, and they're saying that maybe you're a half a step slower. The people that are saying that, what's your response to that? Shut up. <laughs> Fair enough. So you don't feel like you're any slower? No. No. Okay. Literally hate when news directors are like, ask him if he's off from last year, and then you have to stand right here and ask him well, a question. What, what I hate more than that, Jenna, is the way that is. I don't know that gentleman that was the reporter. I'm sure he's a great man. I, I'm, however, and that however is doing a lot of work there. Yeah. Uh, the the question construct of. A lot of people are saying, of not me. I, did a survey. I would never no. say it. It's a good I've done hiding a place. Went place. out on the street, <laughs> asked a bunch of people, AKA myself. <laughs> they say, not me, that last year you would have taken that one to the house. All right. Well, I don't think he watched the video because let's just get with some just easy stuff. You know who ended up tackling? Tell me, CC. Patrick Peterson, mm -hmm. number 21. Definitely one of the best, best 10 athletes in the NFL. In the combine, when he came into the league, what's he run? 4-3. A lot faster than Zeke. So the people he talked to obviously didn't know anything about the personnel, realized that Patrick Peterson had a tremendous angle on him. Zeke couldn't even get wide open. Now, Zeke has been known to have pure breakaway track speed, all right? Sure. In high school, he was a track champion. At Ohio State, you never see Zeke run down. He ran right through the heart of Alabama and everyone else except Michigan State. He had two bad games in college, right? Yep. Because they didn't give him the football. Zeke is too young. This offseason was one of the best offseason Zeke has ever had. Football-wise. Yes. Last season, Zeke wasn't able to lift as much as he would like to. He wasn't able to do much conditioning. He was getting used to the NFL, the banging every week. So that took away a lot. This offseason, you know, he recommitted himself. He's an avid weightlifter, workout guy. He's got tremendous endurance. I mean, Zeke is in better, even though the numbers, because it's hard to live up to last year, he's in better shape mentally and physically to have a better year he just needs some help and needs some open holes let's just pull out for a second and ask the broader question is zeke dak des maybe are the cowboys better could they be better than they were last year the, and it's a high it's a high bar can i a high can bar. i just i'm going to answer that question i just want to one note on I, the number's a little misleading on zeke because the sample size is so small game one and game three you put those together, he's pacing just for what he had last season. Yes. It's just because in game two, it was the worst game of football right, he's so ever played in his down. life. So it's misleading. And I, last year, he didn't get off to some record oh, he's, breaking I, pace. I, if I uh, correct, I think his first game as a pro, he had 20 carries for 50 yards. Like, it's a lot of carries and not a lot of yards, mm -hmm. give or take a carry or a yard here or there. All right, but it's for the Cowboys. I. Listen, I have no reason to believe they can't be as good as last year. Doesn't mean they're going to be 13 and 3 because right. there was a lot of if you're 13 and 3, you could have been 15 and 1, you could have been 11 and 5. It means things, you know, there's a few bounces every season. But because they are only have two everyday important players in Witten and Sean Lee that are north of 30 years old, most of their guys are either getting better or in their prime. So I have no reason to believe the Cowboys can't be as good as they were last season. Well, the reason why you can say something like that, because there were tremendous question marks as far as their defense. One from a rush standpoint. And my God, they have developed a pass rusher. Mm -hmm. You know, he is definitely Marcus one of the Lawrence. he is definitely one of the best pass rushers in the league, consistently getting pressure. All right. They have a couple rookies on the back end, cornerbacks that they've drafted. All right. They are playing good football. Rod Marinelli, the defensive coordinator, people need to be talking about him more when you talk about Dallas because he helped develop these young players. Not only have they drafted well as far as the people they target, there's something in drafting, but there's another thing in talent development, and that's what the Cowboys have done. Now, that's why they might have a chance to be better is because defensively, they've really developed these players, that these players have really covered up some gaping 
um, holes that Dallas had or question marks that they had about their defense. It's the Cowboys' fault. You're going to play so well, people are going to expect you to keep playing well. That was a joke before yeah. you start tweeting at me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.